hello guys and welcome back uh, first of all let's just get rid of this game noise because it is kind of terrible so today today we are going to do something that i have wanted to do from a very long time but i just have not done it till yet today we are going to do that thing and basically that thing is to build ourselves a kelp farm so we just got kelp from the wandering trader as you can see we have just multiplied it by quite a lot basically right so we have some kelp here we have some kelp over here we have some in our storage so we have a lots of kelp enough to start ourselves a nice and easy kelp farm which might be i guess completely automatic automatic let's just and yes by the way we have nether right sorry we have not the nether we have ourselves uh, some obsidian we do have to make ourselves a nether portal which will be according to me on the top of our base no but that can cause some trouble because if some kind of mobs just comes over he will just spawn in our you know this area whatsoever all right so let's just make this over here i guess then i'm going to build something around it later on not right now i think this would be all right to build it here let's grab some of this we don't have a flint and steel right i'm just going to do that after a minute when i complete this we have to go one two three blocks higher from here one two three blocks higher from here place this over here one two and just for the look of this thing i'm just going to do this because i like this wood design kind of thing right let's just go and i don't think we have one so let's just make ourselves a flint and steel let's check before doing that uh yes we don't have one so let's make ourselves a flint and steel uh, we can make it anywhere but let's just go over here and create one for us i'm going to i have to i will have to build around it for which the best block that i have is we have lots of mossy cobblestone if we want to use it else we have a lots of old classic wood stacks of it basically but i think a uh, mossy cobblestone would look nice over the place right so let's just do that going to the nether can unlock us a lots of things and if we got lucky enough we are indeed going to find some awesome stuff in our nether close to the spawn whatsoever i'm just not going to go there right now because we don't have too much time and i have to complete the kelp farm today itself right so let's just do that and no we just have to no we have 1 2 3 4 right let's make it 2 let's start going back let's do that jump one block higher and actually just one more block higher we don't have to keep doing this basically we can just go like this and yes we will need more mossy cobblestone which basically means we indirectly need ourselves a silk touch right 
right we are going to complete this thing later I don't think we are in a danger from it basically let's grab two doors for that and let's also take whatever mossy cobalt stone that we are left with else we will need ourselves a pickaxe for the stuff which is not the most exciting thing to do in the world well let's place these over here on yes let's go over here right let's sneak i think it might be enough yes it will be absolutely enough to do the job and to be honest it's almost accurate let's just get rid of this and we are pretty much ready we have this thing over here not decorative at all to be honest it's just made up of let's place that uh, so that we don't fall inside there while getting chased by a creeper or someone like him so i'm just thinking let's make it somewhere around here all right first of all let's get uh, rid of this tree from here right let's grab that and to be honest let's just is it connected to the next tree yes it's kind of connected <laughs> let's break it from there and then we can just get it on fire pretty much i think that's one of the easiest way to do this right get out of my way yes pretty much out of my way and now completely out of my way and yes i need to keep this over there our first diamond pickaxe and we have just one diamond extra not really the best ever thing that happened to me but still it's all right let's please this pack let's get rid of these things from us we don't need them right let's uh, get rid of this last piece of mossy cobalt stone let's get rid of this wood i'm just thinking to build the farm using just stones that's the best thing that i have to be honest guys everything else would be just a wastage because it doesn't matter what we make it of it's only the look of the thing that's going to change not the performance basically so let's first of all get all of the things to their positions then we are just going to do our job right let's place these let's get rid of this thing and even this i don't need it right now i guess we don't need a uh, paper we should be right here all right let's get rid of the paper we don't need it right now let's uh, get rid of the book here i'm trying to keep the things uh, as well uh, you know organized as i personally can because things get pretty messy as you go on in uh, your minecraft world let's just keep it over here let's get the torches let's get our building block let's get our kelp just in case we encounter these things let's get that and one of these also i think it will be handy let's just jump over to a bed let's sleep and next day we are out building that and yours guys I needed the nether because I needed the because I needed uh, I needed I needed I needed something which you know is known as quartz guys we need quartz 
to do some stuff so let's just jump into the nether let's see where we have spawned and guys just wish me luck that i don't die uh, and yes 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 i don't want to take my mending bow over there what you kidding me what are you doing over here no guy bro you are dead come over here and get yourself this nice shot in the next shot you are just straight up dead all right let's just get rid of the mending bow and let's take the flame and infinite instead of it now we also don't need so many bows with us as we got that let's go to the nether let's collect ourselves some quartz and let's not do anything that's going to get us in trouble and yes 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 i need doors i need doors i need doors guys it's just around the base but still it takes some time do we have two doors we just need two more doors answer is no let's grab one and let's craft the others basically it's a useless point to just grab that one we will have just one extra overall so let's just run back there and let's hope we don't die in nether in the one of our nether all right let's just let's just let's just let's just so we are i don't think we are on edge of something indeed we have something over there guys for a second i have to turn on the volume
guys I'm guys I'm pretty afraid of uh, gas to be honest not because they can do a damage and stuff their damage is not that much but the main thing is they can break whatever you are standing on they can give you continuous fire damage they can have fire around you and all that stuff that i really don't want let's also get ourselves a door over here let's go out and let's see if we have so we currently don't have gas around us we have that one block of lava over there and we are not basically wearing and the bad thing is that we are not wearing any gold so basically the piglings will attack on us i guess i'm wearing no we are just wearing gold i'm just getting a little too worried all right let's just go there grab ourselves some of this thing this beautiful thing over here also known as quartz used for making absorbers observers what ever they are called not really sure about their name i think they are called observers with a o right let's just go over here let's get out of this mess anyway i hate nether and we are back to our home right guys so here we are it's still day it's just it's just lagging bhai are you lagging let's chill and eat well i think that's enough of the lagging stuff that was going on so we got ourselves the stuff that we needed basically let's go and let's see what is required to make observers to make observer you need one quartz two redstone and you need yourself some of this useless stuff known as the cobalt stone most useless yet useful kind of stuff in the whole minecraft let's get rid of that let's get rid of this all right all right all right all right all right let's grab ourselves few stacks of this thing right now i'm not really sure how big we are going to go and how many we are going to make we need redstone we need wood for the pistons let's grab a stack of wood let's grab a stack of this and 17 of these not really sure about the quantity and uh, let's go and let's make ourselves 17 pistons first of all right then let's make ourselves some observers not too many are required i think that's enough for now and we will obviously need ourselves some redstone dust anyway let's just go and sleep so this is our day 2 in minecraft days all right let's just go out and let's start up without wasting any further time because i think we have already wasted quite a lot of it any creepers around us i don't think so just one old easy to kill spider uh, actually let's just still collect whatever he's dropping so let's make it over here let's start it from there right so first of all what we need is we will need uh, i'm just going to leave one space because there will be hoppers about it above it sorry here will be the kelps basically in this area will be the kelps uh this 
अबाउ दिस ब्लॉक विल बी द पिस्टन्स इज बेसिकली ऑन अस हाउ लॉन्ग वी हैव टू मेक वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन दैट जस्ट मेक इट टेन वन टू एंड थ्री ओवर देयर वन टू थ्री फोर basically doesn't matter if we count it or not right now because it will be 10 anyways now we will need the pistons over here to break the kelp basically according to the size of my farm i will need a little bit more of pistons but we can add it at a little bit actually i just forgot about how long does the redstone current go I think it will be anyhow enough for these many pistons. Let's just go over here. Uh, do we have something that we can use to? Yes, we have another rack. Let's do this and let's place the piston over here. That is going to give the redstone signal. so we will need something over here i guess and if i connect it like this will the block change give the signal no i don't think it is giving the signal anyway if we do this and then if we place a piece of redstone dust above it then it's obviously going to give the signal but will the piston get extended oh yes i am still a noob in redstone sorry guys about it so let's just do it like this after here ouch sorry that hurts right let's do that and then let's connect this stuff now let's check if it is working or not i just said let's all of them yes 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 nice uh let's get rid of one of these and let's just add another observer over here for betterment of the design so that this just keeps on happening again and again and and then i think we can we have quite a lot of them right Let's just add one over here. I don't really care how it looks, to be honest. Till it just uh, do the job that we are giving to it. Right. Well, well, well. It's all happening good and easy. So this is it. About uh, from for this area, I mean, this is it. We don't have to place anything over here. because above here will be the hoppers basically let's place this right let's go over here pistons we need how many more 1 2 3 4 we need four more pistons all right guys let's grab ourselves four more pistons not grab let's basically craft ourself four more pistons come on then man to do that right done 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 so here we go let's craft ourselves four more pistons awesome Let's jump over this side. We just needed three more. I'm having bad mathematics, really bad. 
so we now need to uh, place the cobalt stone over here around this full thing to connect the redstone wiring and we will need to place the piston uh, not the piston sorry we need to place these things anywhere three blocks anywhere around here then we need three of these and i think we just need to do this like that afterwards nothing big no big deal i mean and now all of this should also be connected and well functioning if i place this all of them extend and if i remove this all of them extend well done uh, let's wait a second let's complete this afterwards we will need two buckets to fill in the water come on let's get out of here anyway don't know where how long this will go right now if we want to get another layer we have to do is we need to place the kelp block above the observers anyway so basically this area is going to be filled up with water and as you would know if you know anything about redstone water and come on get out water and redstone dust uh, is one of the worst kind of thing that you can imagine in this game right so here it will go the kelp will grow till the height of the observers then it will get braked from there and it should go one block above from there i guess if i am thinking correctly this should work perfectly right and obviously we will need ourselves a little bit more cobalt stone anyway then we will need hoppers getting hoppers is a big deal because the iron is pretty rare in this game i just didn't thought about it right but 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 if i place the water in this direction basically it should go and flow over that direction so we will need less hoppers for this one i guess but that all thing depends on first of all we need two buckets of water and some stacks of cobalt stone let's grab three stacks of this thing let's grab two buckets of water that is going to be replaced by this and this it's not night right i don't know how much time is left to be night all right let's do that let's do this uh let's do that let's come over here and let's start filling the water in this thing one block over here one block over here i just placed it on the wrong area one block over here then here then here and just so on and it is pretty much infinite water all right let's grab this and put it over here let's grab another bucket of water and put it over here then take water from here fill it here take here fill here take here fill here take here fill take and fill take and fill and continue doing it all right guys it's i think it's night let's just go and sleep before the mobs come here and try to kill me right 
one more night uh, and let's come over here let's get back to our farm let's make a temporary access point like this which is basically going to break my redstone to be honest but it's all right for now because i'm anyway going to remove it now let's do the second level basically put it over here and put it over here it should have made a why is the water behaving like this why is it really weird let's just fill it up all the way come on not from there all the way till here let's get a bucket of water over there and well this is done let's do another layer and hopefully this should do the job so the observers are giving a uh, giving a little bit of problem but i think we are almost done just like that we are done let's come on let's just place the block over there so the water don't get overflowed basically we need this all to go all the way up to here right let's do that 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 easy job easy 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 basically i think we should be done i don't think so we missed some block nothing more than it let's go over here then I will see that later because it is lagging a little bit due to all this weird triggering of I just don't understand why and what is happening over here Well that's done nice to know that now the thing is i need to do this in such a way that it goes all the way if i do it right now it won't happen right so i need to do this then i need to break that if i remember it properly come on there is a creeper I don't feel any water current but just to make sure let's take a bucket of water and fill it over there Now let's see what's up with the creeper Oh and we just leaked Really nice to know that And I would like to see that useless creeper so that I can take him off using this bow of our which is waiting for him so guys we messed up a little bit right we just got the water in the pistons all right that's a nice problem that i just never saw before so let's go over here and let's hope the creeper is just gone somewhere no i cannot risk this let's go over here to see if the creeper is around it would be amazing to see him all right i don't think so that he is here so now we can jump up and we can for a minute take out this replace this with a block maybe is going to reset the place i guess come on come on come on just let me go up i need to go up up i need to go up right well done 
let's get a, rid of the dust right now for now whatever so basically now what I have to do is I have to get all of the pistons reset if I am not wrong uh, if, if that is actually stopping the water from flowing in from that position it would be really nice if I get the redstone from this area is it going to work uh, wait a second we need to get rid of this and then let's place the redstone and let's also collect this dust because we don't have an infinite supply of it now I need to go up and the way is right here now let's basically place a block on the observer and let's see if it's working wait a sec we can use only this observer so if I place a block over it I think half of the pistons got triggered So let's continue. Let's keep on doing this till we reach to the corner. We can take this by eight blocks. Well, I think that's the eighth block over there. And yes, that's the eighth block over there. So that is the max distance that we can take this thing to. Alright. So the reason I am not taking... Come on, I, I just placed the piston. This really foolishness. Is because I think that is going to break the water flow below it. So that is why I am doing this only one block at a time. Which is not that tough after all. Especially after our redstone got messed up from there right so this one is the eighth block for this so basically now all of the kelp is going to flow till here right here first of all I think I need to connect the redstone before I do all of the next stuff because anything can cause mess over here and let's just go and let's just quickly place a block over there well done get rid of this this and get rid of this place this over above not over I mean let's climb on here place the redstone or just but <laughs> I don't know due to something the it is just lagging right let's get uh, rid of this then we will have to go over here I guess why is it ah, it's not leaking from there anyway all right let's get rid of that now let's get rid of these if we just kindly can not the easiest thing to do get rid of yes done we did it finally anyway now let's get rid of that dust from there and let's place this over here and let's go over this side do this let's go over this side and let's do this 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 come on this cannot place a block all right done and he's not attacking me i just saved him from the water didn't i right let's just see if Now 
we need to connect the dust like that and I think we are done with the most of the part except from except the hoppers I think we are done let's just go up and check if something got messed up due to all of the things that we do that we did sorry let's just make ourselves a way up from around here and yes it is going to get night soon so we just need to check this up once quickly yes i pretty much guess that's done let's go and sleep for a sec So with that done, now we need to do, what do we need to do? Let's go over here and let's just see what's the condition. I think this one block is getting a little messed here. I think this is the one and if I do this again it's not happening anyway just need to get rid of this block now we also need to get rid of what just happened are you kidding me how <laughs> this happened i'm just really confused so we will basically have to do all of that again really nice to know that let's get rid of these blocks guys block of all cobblestone over these places then we will have to get rid of it like that it's better to use these anyway let's use these then then we break these away again we have to do the same thing then we break these things away and they got they gets collected i think we need to keep this still not really sure but it's going to prevent things from flowing in the wrong position by a little bit right so let's just place this let's break this the wrong way to break it is still it's all right and i think this must be the last one to do to that this and this over here then we break this and we also break this basically mm, now it's all done things are flowing in the correct direction over here so we will need i think sign to complete the rest of the work If we want we can use signs or if we want we can just collect it over here and reduce the size of our farm by a little bit. I think reducing the size would be much easier than we can also do the sign stuff. We can get few signs, place them over here and we can get the water to flow two blocks here, two blocks here. And then having a hopper. then our hopper will have to go near somewhere here right this would be the place where our hopper should go basically wait a sec ah uh, yes there is redstone over here and i don't want to ruin it so let's do this and then let's break this block 
not the best jump ever now if we place this here and here wait can go one more block really nice to know that really helpful basically but what i wanted to do is i wanted to get this to go there if it can even go there all right we got two blocks to do our stuff and here it goes easily pretty much all right it is not going anywhere just going to get collected over this block i guess so i'm just going to reduce the size i don't care about two or three of anything in this situation i'm just going to remove the extra stuff anyway let's go below let's go below come on let me go below like that then we need to plant the kelps no not the best yes not still not on the right position well here it goes on the right position let's jump in here let's go like this 1 2 three, four, five. well let's grab a little bit more of kelp i think we can get it over here yes i am correct we can just get lots of kelp pretty easily from this place anyway let's just complete this quickly we have wasted a lots of time in this oh yes i have to go in from here right so now we need to complete this thing we have to get kelps we have to do this all of this and then i have to test it basically if it's working properly I think all of them just triggered i hope that they did and when this happens all of them gets basically collected over to this area now i will have to place the hoppers right here and here i can use three hoppers and get the output from here right let's just quickly grab some hoppers because here this comes then we will need 15 gold all right we need 15 not gold yes that was another foolishness that i did today let's uh, get two chests then we can get ourselves three hoppers and that is going to basically give us infinite fuel uh really nice to hear that word basically let's climb up and let's go in and let's then uh place the hoppers in the position i don't think anyway that so i need this to connect to somewhere there wait a second how am i going to put this because if i come over here then things got messed up if i place this then i will have to do some more hard work basically well all right let's place it like that and hopefully it would be facing the right way is it yes it is facing the right way but now this has stopped so we need to go here 
need to do this and basically then we can replace this back no 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 we have to do is we need to place the hoppers facing in this hopper right come on let's go up like that uh, let's go sneak and place the hopper like that I don't really know why this has happened but I don't think that is going to matter anyway let's replace this block it doesn't matter actually let's get rid of this block right here grab a hopper and do this then we can sneak and remove the water from here these two are pretty much useless except if i put signs over here in this block and then i just let the water run in from this positions but it's just a matter of a uh, little bit of things basically and the better thing to do for me right now is to just not do it uh, let's get over here let's get rid of this let's go over here let's get rid of this and that should basically mean that the water is removed and it should no longer be there but it is indeed there let's just take it we cannot because there's an access point right well still it's coming from somewhere all right it's coming from the pistons but yeah the most basic thing is i think done we might sooner or later see the calves over here or we will have to get that one block lower if that's not the case first of all let's go over here and sleep right uh i think i just saw creeper he's chilling over there and i'm just going to blow him come on stop moving stop moving guy not really nice in hitting moving targets anyway let's still try to do this one stop chilling over there right i don't care about his drops and stuff because right now i have other mess to handle as i just thought uh, this is exactly the case come on come on come on just yes well done you can just get that water here about this little bit of water guys let's get rid of this like that then we can sneak up and get rid of water from here i guess well 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 done and now this should basically mean that it will no longer just auto fill itself we can just remove the stuff from there well done here we can get rid of this block and grab ourselves another axe yes i have it then we can do this but before that we will have to go two blocks down then we will have to place this over here i will have to break this thing i will have to break this thing basically because they are going to trigger this again and again otherwise and just like that you get rid of that also now you need to disconnect these ones from the circuit 
which already happened here well we don't we can collect these later after a minute once i see my kelp is uh doing well is it working basically i mean is this getting collected over here i don't think so this means we will have to put it one block lower will have to put these guys one block lower so i will have to do this i will have to get out this i will have to get this here then basically break this one and then break this then place a hopper let's grab the hopper anyway first of all let's get the hopper let's place it come on yaar i hate this water flow come on what are you doing yes we need to sneak and place that over there then we need to get rid of this which is going to let the water flow in from that part right so we will need to block this from here that's pretty nice we can just collect everything in two blocks wait a second is this possible is this actually going to happen uh where are my hoppers can i please have my hoppers back guys where is my hopper there were there should be two hoppers around here that's a red stone i don't need red stone basically i need my another hopper my hopper just disappeared it's not over here it's not in the other hopper guys just lost in hopper this should end up there should get collected over there guys it's really awesome one get rid of that uh let's place it inside there i don't need it Guys, why is this hopper over here? We just misplaced the hopper itself. Well done. Uh, let's collect the hopper. Let's go up around, around here, around here, around here. We need to place. We need to place something like this so that we can stand on it. I'm um, basically. I need something to stand on. <laughs> climb up well done then we can have our hopper right there and it should collect everything properly now what i need to do is i need to get rid of this thing completely from here and i need cobalt stone for that all right so the things just flow right into here well done it's really well done i guess so i think that's quite easy kelp farm basically and should work else we have just 
smash something off otherwise now we need chest and that's also guys that was how you make yourself a wonderful looking kelp farm you can just upgrade it we are going to do that in the next episode so guys thanks for watching this video see you all later in the next video bye take care and sayonara